Researchers at the Montcalm Research Center are studying Michigan potatoes' number one pest, the Colorado potato beetle. The problem with this insect is because of the insecticide resistance. So these uh, beetles are really good at becoming resistant to insecticides, and in fact they have become resistant to all the insecticides so far that we're uh, aware of. The one insecticide still able to control the beetle is quickly becoming of no use. Scientists are investigating the mechanisms in the beetle, how they are able to survive the toxic effect, and are developing other strategies to control the resistant beetle. If uh, we were to find that they are resistant in the field and growers have trouble controlling them, what other strategies are there that they can use to effectively kill the insects? In the lab, three different doses of insecticide are applied. This is poison, it's alive but not dead, but you can see it's intoxicated by the insecticide. We have some walking, so in this dose we have some walking, and um, with the highest uh, doses, we have some that will be dead, totally dead, and they turn dark. The damage is very devastating because uh, both um, larvae and adults feed on, on the foliage. Genes are targeted by a method called gene silencing. So we're trying to see if there are any particular genes that are associated with insecticide resistance that we can target. And sort of the next generation of insect control is what we're looking at there. Um, that's kind of far off into the future, but it's probably going to be the way insects are mostly controlled in the, in the coming years. Michigan State University Ag Bio Research, changing the face of science.